Hello everyone, this is Rachel or Cladiel Tan, and I'm here with an unboxing and mini review for you guys. I don't normally go to JCPenney, but I saw an ad that they were having 50% off all of their Frozen 2 items. I did buy one other item also, which will be a separate video. Today we're just doing this one. After a lot of deliberation and looking at everything, I decided to get this Elsa. There's also Anna and Kristoff. I did not see Kristoff in the store. And there's a little blurb about Elsa. When an ancient magic reawakens, Elsa journeys far from home, testing her powers and discovering who she's meant to be. And Olaf is also on the back of the box. There's a warning. Choking hazard not for children under three years. So now let's get her out of the box. Wow, that was so fast. I'm used to unboxing dolls from when I do get a Disney Princess doll, it's usually from the Disney store. This is actually my first Hasbro Disney Princess doll, and there were literally only three ties. One for her neck, one for her waist, one for her shoes. And she's already out of the box, so you don't have those little plastic stubbies sticking out of the back of her head, anything like that. I am seeing one rubber band right here that's just keeping her hair in place, but that can actually just be pulled off. We don't even need to cut it. So I wish um, the Disney store would package their dolls like this because it's just so much easier to take out and I didn't have to worry about cutting her clothes. By the way, if you are watching this and you are a child, um, get a, an adult to cut her out of the box because if you're not used to using scissors, it can easily damage your doll even with an easier packaging like this just if you're not used to it. So it's better to get help than to end up ruining your doll's clothes right from the start. There's this little shoulder piece which I quite like. It reminds me of Monster High and Ever After High shoulder pieces and it just adds a lot to the dress I think. The cape is sewn in and it's in two pieces. Probably so that you can open the dress down the back. Um, I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet, so I'm not sure how the dress in the movie works exactly, but I do think the two-piece is a nice compromise because it looks good and you still have functionality. I really like this piece across the front. It just adds so much detail and I think it looks so nice. It is a printed on dress, you know, all of the designs are printed on rather than sewed on, but I think they did a good job on it. It looks good, and for a doll that they're selling in this price point, they can't really embroider everything. By the way, this doll is normally $20. Here are the boots, which are oh good. I was scared for a moment they wouldn't be removable. So they're the size for the Hasbro princesses, and it looks like they might also fit Ever After High or Monster High, Disney Descendants, all of that kind of foot. And her legs are a blue color, as you can see, rather than the color of the rest of her body, which I'm not crazy about, but I understand why they do it. She's just got a simple five-point articulation with movement in her head. It is stiff. There we are. That's better. She's got a pretty good range of movement, looking up, looking down, side to side. Her arms can rotate and swivel. No elbow joints, no wrist joints, unfortunately. And then the, the legs don't move side to side, which is a little sad, but they do move front to back. And I guess you can move it up like that if you were going to do ballet with her or something. The plastic does not feel cheap. It's got a nice weight to it, and especially the plastic of the legs has a nice high-quality feel to it, I think. I really like the way her hair looks down in the movie, so I want to take her hair down and see what it looks like. It's got, just right off the bat, I'm noticing it's got a really nice shiny feel, not a lot of hair product. If you wanted it to hang straight, you could do a quick um, dip in hot water and like very hot water, like the temperature you'd make tea with, and just set her up. 
in a mug or something and drip dry and that would pull it straight again if you are a kid. Get someone, an adult, to help you with the hot water because you don't want to burn yourself. I really like her face paint. It looks a lot more like Elsa from Frozen 2 than I feel like the Hasbro princesses normally look. She's, she's very pretty, and I'm really excited to have a doll from Frozen 2 because I've been anxiously awaiting that movie. All of my other Disney princesses have um, more, or I'm in the process of getting them all more articulated bodies, as you guys will see when you see the collection tour. So I will be probably um, boil washing her hair like I just described a minute ago and putting her on a more articulated body, but I think that would be better as a project video. So I'll try to link that below when I make that video. I think as far as the review goes, if I was going to give her like uh, an amount of stars on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give her an 8. She's really, she's really cool. Her, everything feels like a pretty good quality for the price point. But I want more articulation because I like posing dolls for photographs and she does fall a little short on that count. But I know how to put her on a new body so it's not a big deal. Hopefully this was fun for you guys and helped you decide if you were thinking about getting this doll, helped you decide if she's the right choice for you or if you want to look into a different Elsa. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested in reviews and unboxings and project videos about a wide variety of dolls from an adult collector's perspective, and usually dolls marketed to adults, but I do occasionally deal with fashion dolls like this one please check out my channel and consider subscribing. If you want to support my content, you can buy something from me on my Redbubble or Society6 stores or even my eBay store. All of those are linked below. Or you can become a patron and support my content long term. Patrons on the Fairy Godparent tier get a shout out in every video. So shout out to Road to Eret Fan. Thank you so much for your support and for helping make my videos possible. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.